the information of Irvin Baxter about the symbols of the modern nations in the Bible regarding end-time prophecies is very interesting, don't you think? Now we have to remember, just as the Bride of Christ is preparing herself to be ready for the rapture and Christ's second coming, the world is also readying themselves for the coming of their Christ, the Antichrist. And it is well known in history that Hitler also wanted to start a new world order. But at that point in time, it was not the time for the Antichrist yet. Now, beside the satanic symbols in Europe, we also see that German archaeologists brought the altar of Pergamon back to Berlin and put it in a German museum. Now, we read about it in Encyclopedia Wikipedia.org. Now, this altar was originally sited in biblical days at the city of Pergamon in Turkey. Now, this altar was the altar of the Greek god Zeus and it is also known as the seat of Satan. Now the stairs is the entrance going up to the altar that is situated behind the pillars on the top. Now the altar itself is not visible on this photo. Now this is a model of the altar. You can see the altar in the middle. Now sacrifices were offered to the god Zeus upon this 40-foot high altar, and this artifact was moved to the Berlin Museum. This is a model of the ancient city of Pergamon in Turkey. In the middle you can see the altar of Zeus, the seat of Satan that's now in Berlin. Now some scholars believe a Christian named Antipas that we read about in the Bible in Revelation 2 verse 13 was slain for resisting this altar worship of Zeus. Tradition holds that Antipas was slowly roasted to death inside the statue of a hollow bull. Now we know that the bull is a symbol and companion of Zeus and also of the European Union with the woman on the beast. Now we read about Antipas in Revelation 2 verse 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr. A martyr is a martelar, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Now in those times Zeus was known as the god of gods. Now he was also known as the descending god of thunder. Now we read about that in Luke 10 verse 18. And he was also known in that times as the prince of the air. And the Bible also tells us that in Ephesians 2 verse 2. And his symbol was also the thunderbolt. Now the Bible in Luke 10 verse 18 tells us, And Jesus said, I behold Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Now it is clear that Zeus is Satan himself. In 1913, the reconstruction of the seat of Satan was completed in Berlin and was followed by a tremendous opening ceremony of dedication. Within one year, Germany was at war. Just before World War II, Hitler built a replica of the altar of the seat of Satan in Nuremberg, from which he made some of his famous speeches, including the one declaring the extermination of the Jews. Now, did you know that the ancient city of Babylon was situated about 50 miles south of present-day Baghdad? The other archaeological thing that the Germans took from Babylon was the Ishtar Gate. Now this was the gateway to the Temple of Ishtar. Now the Sumerians called her Inanna and other eastern groups referred to her as Astarte. Egyptians called her Isis and the Catholic named her Mary.
when the Jews went into captivity in Babylon, they passed through this gate. Now instead of abolish these gods and goddesses, the world today put them in museums and the people are marveling about them, and they turn away from the only true God, the God of the Bible and His commandments. Think that this pagan goddess Ishtar only existed in ancient days? I want you to think again. I have found this game with a 10-day free trial under my nose on the internet, and I didn't even have to look for it. It just happens to be right in front of me. Now in the lower picture is one of the main characters, and as you can see, the name Ishtar. Now these occultic pagan gods is in our children's bedrooms disguised as games or Disney-like characters, and most of us do not even notice it. I have found an article in the Charisma magazine 2003 about children's electronic games. Quote, an electronic game owner, Rolf Bagley, says at least 30 to 40 percent of the new games previewed in Los Angeles that May during the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the world's largest video game trade show, were occult based. Quote, it really shocked me because they are taking occult based characters and making them heroes. Now that's the gods and goddesses of ancient times. Now let's go back to the Ishtar Gate in the Berlin Museum where we left off. That was the gateway to the goddess Ishtar, Isis or Astarte, Queen of Heaven. The Ishtar Gate was excavated by Robert Caldwey. Now they took brick by brick back to Germany where the Germans rebuilt it in their museum in the 1930s. A smaller reproduction of the gate was also built in Iraq under Saddam Hussein that was never completed. The gateway had 337 pictures of the Babylonian snake and dragon gods. Now the number 337 in Hebrew numerology means hell. Therefore the Jews called this gate the gateway to hell. Now it's interesting to see that the Germans took this gate from Babylon and rebuilt it in Berlin, where it can be seen today. Now notice the bulls on the walls. We know it is the companion of Zeus. Now this is original ancient writings that is against the walls in the museum. Now I found this video clip on the internet and I thought to show it to you while I was busy with this gate. As I was sitting in front of my computer the thought came into my mind and I typed in or I googled European Union Serpent and I pressed the search button. Now, to my utmost surprise, I stumbled upon these following documents. Now, this article popped up. Now, I nearly fell off of my chair when I saw this. The Serpent Project nominated for the European Union Environment Award. And that was in April 2008. Now after I saw this, I googled European Union Ishtar. Now remember the goddess Ishtar, Isis, Astarte, Queen of Heaven? And the following information appeared on my computer screen. Now this information appeared on my screen. The European Commission has an Ishtar project as well. And notice the European Union flag sign. An Ishtar project? Now all these signs is not by accident. This is impossible. Now what does it stand for? It stands for Integrated Software for Health Transport Efficiency and Autistic Heritage Recovery. Now this is unbelievable. 